Good morning guys, uh, today I'm heading out to my usual route uh, 697, another usual route. This is a little different and I put it up on the uh, group just in case if anybody wants to join me. So I'm just going to uh, fill up some gas and uh, head out. It's a cloudy day, uh, 64 degrees, but uh, any day is a good day if you're on the motorcycle. So it's, uh, it's nice, um, I was just uh, looking at the fall colors on my street, it's gorgeous, I love the crepe mortars uh, which turn really nice red, you see them there, and the red maples, uh, red oaks, uh, man I love it, I love it, those are the two trees uh, probably have uh, in my house too, I had some uh, red oak in my house, uh, beautiful, you know, look at the red leaves a love of the red oak and the crepe myrtles perfect 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 day <laughs> okay uh, I will uh, fill some gas and head out and uh, talk to you guys in a bit okay uh, we are on our way so we're just gonna head down uh, Lake Forest uh, it turns into 1471 and then I'll take uh, Custer, which is 2478 north, then hit 455, go east a little bit, then take 3356 up north to 121, then go on 121, hit uh, 161, and then uh, go up to uh, White Right, and then uh, take 697. I just figured out uh, why I like riding so much. It's uh, it's because you you got to constantly be aware uh, even driving and riding you got to be constantly aware you can't just doze off so I think uh, that kind of engages your mind and I think keep you keeps you occupied for some reason I think uh, I can't just sit idle do nothing so you know maybe uh, that's why I'm born to ride born to drive because uh, you got to focus you know every corner you want to take it a little better like right now you want to do a better job than the previous time and it's all about I guess that's what it is uh, you know <laughs> uh, you just enjoy driving because it, it keeps you on your toes uh, you know you want to just uh, focus do better improve and uh, so every day is different and it's not uh, a boring chore every time you ride so that's probably uh, the key <laughs> Yeah, crossing Van Alstyne, uh, another thing I noticed is uh, when you're taking the curves, you know, people say you got to look as far as possible. No, you can't look as far as possible because then you <coughs> lose track of what is in front of you. So you got to look at the middle distance where you're comfortable with so that you can actually accelerate. So like for example, I think I, I'm, my comfort distance is like where the sign is, the 50 miles an hour. So that's the distance I need to look for so that I can accelerate in curves. So that's where it's slightly you know, misleading. It took me some time to figure out. So now the curve is coming up. I, I can look yeah, as far as I ha that uh, distance is what I like. But then when the curve opens up, you know, I still got to look at the middle distance which is comfortable for me. I can't just look right till the end then I lose track of what's coming in front of me and I really don't accelerate so right now the middle distance is where like that's where I can't look at the edge I have to look in the middle because that's my comfort zone where I can accelerate so it's a little different for everybody so you got to find what is what works for you I guess so that's something I learned uh, today so you always learn something every day oh it's a beautiful up and down here <laughs> Gorgeous Texas countryside. Um, this is the beautiful uh, 697. Um, my uh, camera said it's uh, not recording. There's no SD card, so I had to stop and fix it. So, anyway, we'll get going right now. I want to save some battery for uh, the little bit of off-roading I might do on the way back. The 
this is basically a third or fourth gear road you just stay in that gear and then keep going it's beautiful uh, curves everywhere slow down position yourself look in the middle distance and then accelerate that's the that's the goal here Drop a gear, drop another gear, position yourself, look in the middle distance, and accelerate. That's what it is. Push the bike so that your knee goes against the tank. Keep doing, repeat. <laughs> okay. Uh, this is the uh, one of the first gravel roads I uh, I did in my old bike <laughs> this was three four years ago and uh, I used to uh, that was the black bike I had and rem I remember being uh, terrified on this road <laughs> absolutely terrified <laughs> uh, and I used to I think I went uh, sitting on this road <laughs> So now uh, I'm not as terrified as I was before. I didn't air my bike's uh, tires down this time, but uh, even then, <laughs> it's not too bad. And this is the way we go to the uh, skydiving place, I think it's right here on the left hand side, if I remember. Yep, now this seems, uh, the road seems a uh, piece of cake now. This is uh, just a trip down uh, memory lane to go back to this uh, place. I think I going the wrong way, but uh, man, this seems uh, this place seems a lot more developed than uh, what it was before. <laughs> Anyway, I will uh, talk to you guys later then. Sorry? Oh, okay, I just came for a ride. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so you're not having anything today because of the weather? Oh, okay.
So uh, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this vlog of my uh, uh, nostalgic trip back to where we started. <laughs> and uh, anyway, it's a beautiful day. It's clearing up. A beautiful day to ride. And I can practice some of my gravel uh, skills here. Third gear. Okay. Yeah, I'm getting a... <laughs> I know. Now I feel a lot more confident than I, how I was uh, back when I started here. <laughs> so uh, that's a good change. Uh, anyway, I will uh, talk to you guys later. Hope you enjoyed this vlog and uh, keep watching and I'll keep making and I'll keep riding. Hang loose and uh, ride safe folks.